Hey everybody, so I am back with another video. Um, I'm sorry if the lighting goes in and out. Um, I'm using natural lighting and I'm on my iPhone 8, so yeah. But I just want to let y'all know before we get into this video, these edges are snatched. I used um, the Style Booster Edge Control and the Scent Blueberry, y'all. I think I'm gonna use that from now on because, honey, when I tell you. These edges is looking, mm. they looking, mm. <laughs> yeah, so today is a very, um, how can I put this, um, it's an exciting and like kind of scary video for me to film, only because I'm being very vulnerable and I'm really opening up my heart and mind to the internet, so yeah, um, I'm not really usually a person that likes to do that and we'll actually get into that more in the video as well but yeah God just really placed it on my heart to talk about what is going on and I kind of want to share my experience um pertaining to like the last video as far as like mental health I really I want to raise more awareness on women's mental health especially black women um so yeah, I guess I'll just get right into basically last year, 2018 was a kind of a rough-ish year for me as far as um, dealing with things that I didn't really want. Like last year I did party a lot. I did go out a lot. Like I was going out like every weekend y'all and anybody who knows me knows that I've never been that type of girl that goes out every weekend which I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that but that just wasn't what I typically do but I mean I did have fun I'm not I don't regret that part um I don't regret any of it to be honest but um some things happened with some things happened that led me to want to go out a little bit more I wanted to just you know be free you know just do my thing and in the midst of this I did end up having sex um I broke my celibacy well I broke that a long time ago y'all just to let y'all know but um I'm trying to get back on track right now with it to be honest um but yeah that's a whole different video to get into all the celibacy stuff celibacy stuff but um yeah so I was having sex i um, I would say last year was like my wild year because I had um, multiple sex partners and I'm not really the typical, I'm not as sexually free as other people are. Like I've never, I've never wanted to just have a lot of, like have multiple partners like that, like jumping from guy to guy or anything like that. Not, not trying to condemn or judge anybody, but that's just never been me and I've never been that type of person but I kind of did end up doing that on a small scale <laughs> to me it was a big deal but to everybody else I've talked to they're like oh Chaz you ain't really did nothing to be honest but to me it's a big deal um anyway so I don't know um so that was happening around like the summertime beginning of the school year or whatever but <clears throat> um, as I was doing this, like, I just found myself being so unfulfilled. And I'm like, why? Like, why am I even doing this? Like, and um, I came to the conclusion that I was really just chasing the deep connection that I really want. Like, I really would rather just have one guy be with him and like be deeply connected to that person and I felt like I was using the sex with the other guys as a way to like get that connection without the actual work you know like the being vulnerable because growing up um like being vulnerable to me is like showing a sign of weakness and I don't want to be weak I don't want people to know that they can hurt me and you know a lot of things in my past, um, I've seen like physical, mental, and emotional abuse, like from 
like in different relationship dynamics as far as like boyfriend and girlfriend dynamics or like um family dynamics as well so i've seen that and i've experienced that and i just i don't know i think i kind of like closed up my heart because i don't want anybody to get too close to hurt me or to do anything like that to me so yeah i knew i had that issue and um i do have sometimes some um problems with communicating like i either shut down where i don't really say anything and like i don't get what i want out of it out of the situation maybe and i'm not expressing how i feel or what can make the situation better as far as me and the other person coming to a compromise that works for both of us and or i'll like lash out and i'm really angry and i just spaz a little bit and i knew that i knew that was unhealthy and i knew that if i wanted to be deeply connected to the man that god has for me then i actually need to take the steps to figure that out so at the beginning of the fall semester last year i decided to go to the counseling and psychological services at school so i took the assessment and the um counselor psychiatrist whatever you want to call her i don't even know what to call it right now but anyways therapist whatever um <laughs> So I talked to her and according to my test scores, um, I was really normal for the most part as far as like anything like dealing with depression or anxiety or anything like that. But I was under a lot of family distress. They said that that level was really high and, um, and like I do have some like family issues that I won't get into but I do have those. So I know a lot of my problems with like communicating and things like that come from like my family issues so she recommended that i go to this um like group therapy called uso which is understanding self and others and basically in this group we just talk about things that we're dealing with and like basically we get feedback from the other people in the group and from the facilitators as well like just how to deal with things or how to go about things more correctly and just basically how to deal with other people because that's where my issue is, is dealing with other people and sorry oh gosh i done messed up my angle y'all dang i had to get back comfortable sorry but yeah so i went to that and i really think that helped me a lot um so yeah, when I was presented with the opportunity to talk to the guy that I talked about in my previous video, um, I didn't even know anything about him too much um, in the beginning, but I just knew, like I told myself, I was like, you know what, I'm going to give this guy a chance and you know, if if we want to move forward, then I'm going to try my best, move forward as far as like going into a relationship. I was like, I'm going to try my best to like be vulnerable, actually talk about things and see where it goes. And I told myself like, if me and him don't work out, then I ain't talking to nobody else after this. I'm just going to continue working on myself and building myself. And, you know, and when the man, right man comes along, then he'll come along. So... Yeah, so that's so blah, blah, blah. I just kind of stuttered a little bit. <laughs> Anyways, but yeah, so me and him, we started talking and I was really implementing the things that I learned from that class. I was like opening up. I was telling him how I felt about things. I was like making things known like certain standards that I held for myself. I was letting those be known as well. Like it was really healthy in the beginning <laughs> and then certain things just started happening where he wanted to pull away and at first I was like I had I had a really good perspective on it I was just like I felt like he was just going through something and you know like I'll just give him time in his space so I was like I wasn't even worried about it and um so yeah it was fine and then all of a sudden, it's like all these things from my past just came up, which is what I was talking about in my um, previous video was like the past, tra past trauma. Like for one, like one day we, 
I told him to come over and we could like talk. But during that talk, like I really didn't say much of anything. I didn't get any, I felt like nothing was really accomplished from that, from that, um, from that talk. And like, it kind of, like I started overthinking that and I was like, well, Jasmine, you need to say something like you need to speak your mind and, <clears throat> And like just let it be known because like if you and him even though y'all aren't gonna be in a relationship like you still want to be friends with this guy so if you want to do that you need to like express how you feel and make it be known that way you guys can come to an understanding and you don't end up resenting him or having any hard feelings towards him and so like I was really going back and forth in my head about that situation and then I finally said something about what was bothering me. But when I said something, I lashed out. And I really didn't come at the situation in the correct manner. And um, that kind of triggered him to come back at me and then in the wrong way. And then, like, I just kind of, I felt misunderstood and I kind of was like, okay, well, maybe I just don't need to bring anything up anymore because he's like, you're pushing me away. And I'm like, what's going on? Like, just me, I don't know. It's kind of confusing for me still to even talk about it because I don't even know what happened mentally in my head. But um, I just I just kept having a strong feeling about him. Like, I just, I just had, like, I felt like I just had all these emotions about him. And I was like... Jasmine are you in love like you need to deal with this because he was kind of like he had kind of pulled away from me and it was like I was kind of I felt like I was chasing him and I'm like Jasmine you need to deal with this um so at one point I just ended up blocking him like I just blocked him and like I remember when I blocked him like I felt horrible because in my past like one of my previous exes like Literally, the way he broke up with me was he just stopped talking to me. Like, I didn't hear from him for weeks. Like, and that broke me down. Like, I was crying for two weeks straight, y'all. Like, every day for two weeks. And not too many people know that. <laughs> Dang. I'm just telling all my secrets, all my vulnerabilities. Lord. Um, yeah, so I felt horrible. And it was, like, one of the hardest things for me because I felt like if he really cared like I felt that he cared and how he showed that he cared before I was like I know I'm really hurting him right now but I didn't know what else to do um I've never been the type of person to really deal with my emotions I usually just try to suppress them like anytime like any heartbreaks or anything happen with guys I usually just try to suppress it folk like just refocus don't really deal with it because I don't like to be sad and I don't and I don't want people, and I just, I just feel like a weak person and I just feel like I have so much going on that I can't let myself be sad about a guy. Like, I can't be sad. So, yeah, so I'm not the greatest at dealing with any of my emotions, well, any of my emotions that are bad, like sadness or like frustration. I'm not good with those at all. Um, really, I'm trying to be better, but it's, it's going to take a minute. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah so I felt that way but then I kind of it settled down a little bit and like I added him again because I actually do care about him and um yeah and during that experience where I had him blocked I did go out I was trying to like make myself happy and I didn't want to be at home because I was really overthinking things so I didn't want to be at home and just be in my thoughts and be unproductive so I was like well go with your friends or whatever and I went with my friends and I know like one of his friends had seen me so I feel like the fact that one of his friends seen me and you know I was putting on this facade like I was okay like you know I'm good I'm Gucci like we good over here like I'm pretty sure his friend pro I'm not pretty sure but I have a feeling that his friend kind of went back and was like you know she out here she she's straight and you probably and you over there like you sad about it like forget her 
forget her dude she ain't nobody uh -uh. so yeah so um that happened and um I did apologize to him but he acted like it was okay and I was just like all right well maybe you didn't really care in the first place because I started before like the him like pulling back for me um happened like I started getting doubts just from some of the things that was going on between me and him and to be honest I feel like he just didn't want to let me know that he really liked me the way he did <laughs> to be honest like I that's what I really feel in my heart but I mean that could be wrong too but anyways we're gonna keep going with the story um so yeah that happened but so I kind of had more doubts in my mind like well maybe he doesn't really like me and I don't know the more the situation kept going the more like some of the some of my past trauma came out <clears throat> yeah so since I felt like I had so like I had strong emotions for him and he didn't feel like he had any I didn't feel like he really didn't have that much for me so I was like well girl you need to work on like getting over him like so I got me some books y'all I got some book recommendations I will talk about that in another video as well but yeah so I was like you need to get you some books you need to don't worry about him and I was like trying to lift myself up and trying to be okay on social media but y'all I was going through it like I was really going through it in my head or whatever like I was really like just overthinking a lot of things and I was just like I was just really overthinking a lot y'all and it didn't help that the communication between me and him was like not really there because I started to feel like I was so much in my head and I felt almost like I needed him y'all like it like I really felt like I needed him because I was just so stuck in my head and I felt like I couldn't get myself out and when I would try to talk to him like just regular conversation it was like he wasn't really feeling it and I don't know like I think mostly it was me being in my head but him is well like the but I guess he had some doubts about me too which kind of made the situation worse and I kind of spiraled out of control y'all I really spiraled out of control um and it was like I don't know I would I talked about some of the stuff before like I was just doing things that I was that I shouldn't have been doing and I'm pretty sure his whole idea of me kind of got skewed from the things that I was doing and saying but I was just so wrapped up in my head that I couldn't even really that I really didn't even know what to do I was just I don't know I was just mentally not there like and then on top of like everything that was going on in my life i I just I I didn't know what to do and I knew he was probably pulling away from me because I was acting like a maniac y'all like I was blocking and unblocking him acting fine one minute and then like it was some things that I was unresolved about and it was going through my head and I'm like Chasmine you need to say something and then when I say something it's like I'm pissed off about it and I'm not coming about it correctly like my <clears throat> my the way my behavior was is it's almost seemed like I was trying to manipulate him into like being with me or something because I was one minute I was fine and the next minute I'm like cussing him out and doing all this crazy stuff and blocking it unblocking and I'm not the type of person to be indecisive and that was really making me mad because I'm like Chaz man you need to get together like you either gonna talk to this man or you not like what's like girl what what's going on in your head and like um he's actually going into the air force soon i don't know when we haven't really talked about any of that lately but um yeah i just remember one day he went to go swear in or whatever but i thought he was leaving was like oh my gosh is he leaving and like i was at work and i'm literally having like a full-on i don't know panic attack anxiety attack i really don't know what it was um 
I just remember my heart was beating really fast and I'm like breathing like oh my gosh he's leaving he's leaving like oh my gosh what does this mean like I was I was really going through it and and the more I was going through it, the more that I wanted to talk to this facade that I was okay. So it wasn't making it any better. And like, I don't know. <sighs> ladies, um, I just want to say this for all the ladies, especially us black women. We were, we do go through a lot of things and it makes us really strong, really strong. And we try to put on this brave face for everybody. Like we're okay, we're okay. But ladies, I'm here to tell you, if you're going through anything, please talk to your friends, talk to your, talk to anybody that you trust to talk to and get all of this out. Because to tell you guys, I was at my lowest point. I was really at my lowest point. Like I was so stuck in my head that I couldn't eat. Like I, that's all I could think about was everything that was going on and how to deal with it. And was I doing it right? Was I doing it wrong? What's going on? Why is nothing that I'm doing doing? why is nothing that I'm doing working like why is none of my prayers working like and the whole time like I'm looking at everything on the surface and I'm thinking oh my gosh I'm just messed up in my head because I like him so much I just like him I just must like him so much to where I'm just acting crazy and I'm like and I'm trying to deal with it from that perspective when it wasn't even that it wasn't even that and when I changed and when I find and I'm like praying to God like God just take away my emotions like I don't want to feel this anymore I don't want to like have these thoughts anymore like just take it all away like I don't want it <laughs> but that wasn't even the issue the issue was <clears throat> more so me overthinking about things for one and two just the miscommunication between us because I'm I don't know um, I don't know if he thought that I was like, every time I tried to talk to him that me and him still talked like that. Cause to me, I thought we were just friends because I knew he was going through stuff and he said that he didn't want a relationship right now. So I was like, okay, well we're just friends. Like that's what I was thinking. That's what it was going on in my head. But every time I would try to talk to him and tell him like, I like I was trying to tell him I needed him without telling him I needed him like I'd be like I miss you like I need you around like like dude like we need to like I'm going through it right now and I kind of feel like I need you right now and you ain't even here and I can't even tell you because I'm scared to tell you because I feel like you don't care well part of me feels like you don't care <laughs> so it's just like I didn't know what to do y'all and it was just like a whole bunch of craziness going on but I mean I just know from this experience I learned a lot I learned that I can actually be vulnerable and I can be okay I'm grateful for the experience now at first I I was like nah God why you why are you taking me through this why are you taking me through this like and I was just kept asking God like why are you why are you not fixing this situation and um I feel like God was really showing me like things that I need to know about myself and like and I also feel like he needed me to get more grounded in him as well like I needed to be more dependent on him and I think I really think that that's what was really um the message from this whole situation for the most part I kind of feel bad that me and him aren't even friends anymore just because of how I was acting like a maniac but I mean it is what it is um yeah that's probably the thing that hurts me the most is that I don't have him as a friend like the relationship part I know that me and him if we would have gotten there we would have been pretty good together like actually pretty freaking great together we would have been great together y'all but you know I I really at the end of the day I really valued him as a person like I valued his thoughts and like his views on things like I really valued that and I really wanted to keep that around but I don't know I guess God had other plans as far as that um but yeah I just right now I'm gonna continue to work on me and myself and all the things that and all of the other blessings that God has for me because I'm gonna be graduating soon I'm starting my business I'm looking into possibly buying a home y'all cross your fingers pray for your girl Ooh, 
it's a lot going on that I have to deal with and <clears throat> I'm just gonna keep leaning on God and praying to him and I hope he guides me in the right direct well I know he will guide me in the right direction I don't I don't even know why I say I hope he is gonna guide me in the right direction and yeah I just I just pray that all of these like things from my past like I can continuously get over and continuously get better at working on because not only am I trying to do this to be better for myself and be better for my partner but I also want to be better for my children like I when I do like find the man that I'm supposed to marry God please bring him soon I know I shouldn't be rushing your timing but Lord I want my man okay I want my man but we ain't desperate out here now we ain't desperate we ain't looking for an air well now nah, don't do that don't do that but yeah um like I want to have a relationship to where my children will look up to it and they'll value it and see how things should be like I want them to see a healthy relationship I want them and I also want to be that example for my daughter or my son or whoever like you can be great on your own but when you come together with the right person y'all can be even better together and it's a force to be reckoned with when a man and a woman come together and they doing some things for God y'all trying to tell you trying to tell you I can just only imagine things <laughs> that's gonna happen when I actually find the man of my dreams the man of my life but for right now we're gonna work on us um I hope you guys enjoyed the video um yeah if you guys want me to like um talk about anything else um as far as like um advice on things I'm really thinking about doing my unapologetic series again um just basically going into um scripture a little bit more and all of that with you guys if you care if you would like for me to do that please let me know leave a comment like the video please do something <laughs> but yeah i hope you guys have a great day and i'll see y'all in my next video